Okay guys, so I wanted to show you something really cool that I found yesterday before we get into the new Wet n Wild makeup. I went to TJ Maxx and they had Steve Madden wristlets. Now if you watch my videos you know Steve Madden is my favorite designer. I always buy his bargain stuff, uh, the Madden NYC stuff at Walmart, but they had actual designer luxury Steve Madden at TJ Maxx and they had these wristlets and they came in all the Easter type colors they had this cornflower blue they had a yellow they had a pink and as soon as spring comes I am switching to this because it is um, sometimes you know you don't want to be weighed down with a big pocketbook or even a small pocketbook and this is really handy. It has uh, a thing on here where you could put your keys, you could attach your keys to this and then everything else that you need can go in here. Your driver's license, your credit cards, your debit cards, some cash and um, they even have a little slot that you can put a pen if you wanted to do that. But the best part is that this was originally $48 because they do give you the um, Steve Madden tag that would have come with it had I bought it retail. But I got it at TJ Maxx for $14.99 plus tax. So yeah, instead of $48, it was $15. So I can't wait to start using this when spring comes. But we still have like another month or so, or more, of winter. But yeah, I just wanted to show you this in case that was something you might be interested in. Alright, so Wet n Wild came out with a whole bunch of new stuff. And I picked up, like, most of it, I would say. Like, one of each thing. So I'm going to do a full face of Wet n Wild today, and um, if I don't have something from a category, then I'll use something that I already had. Does anybody remember when I used to use this every single day? It's the Wet n Wild Lip Treatment in Grapefruit Mint. Man, I was obsessed with this. I still love it, but it's gotten pushed aside by lip oils. But yeah, I love this lip treatment. Now, most of the things that I got, I got at Walgreens. I got one thing at CVS because I had a coupon, but then I got up to the register and my coupon was expired and I was like, well, I'm here now. It's in my hands. So I got it anyway, even though my coupon was expired. So I ended up paying way too much for that item. And Walgreens isn't cheap either. Okay, so I was going to use my NYX Pro Fix Stick like I always do, but this is almost gone. It's not that bad. So let's just stick to using all Wet n Wild then for this video. So I'm going to use the Wet n Wild, oh wait a minute, wait a minute, let's go in the correct order here, primer. They do have, they had two new primers and I didn't want to buy, you know, every single thing. I was like, okay, pick between the two. This is the Impossible Primer Stick, the one silicon-free primer stick that does it all. It has... Jeju Blossom Extract and Gooseberry Extract. So this is a stick. Has a really pleasant scent to it. So we are going to put this... Oh, it's a. I think it's a cooling... I think it's one of those cooling sticks. You know, I don't know that I've ever tried anything like that. Hmm. Hmm. 
Ooh, that feels nice. I bet that would feel really nice right here under the eyes, yeah. And on the eyes. Hmm. Okay. And, you know, one of the things that I love so much about Wet n Wild is when they bring out new products in their permanent line, they're not crazy expensive. Because the only time I ever see inflated Wet n Wild prices is when they have to pay for licensing, like when they did the Scooby-Doo collection, for example. Those things were a little more expensive because they had to pay somebody to use those images and those names. But, yeah, this uh, that was $6.99. So every single thing that I bought was under $10, which is my goal for 2024, is to only buy makeup items that are under $10 if possible. All right, now I can go in with my concealer, and this is not new. This is the Meg Wet n Wild Mega Last Incognito Concealer. My shade is Light Beige. Some people do foundation first, some people do concealer first. It, I like to do concealer first to try to conceal what I can. And then when I go in with my foundation, I can see like, you know, which areas I need to focus on to get more coverage. And um, we're going to put a little in the eye area just to, as like a corrector. But I am going to be going in with, believe it or not, the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. I, had, I never use um, eyeshadow primer anymore, but I'm going to do that today. Just trying to take any areas that are exceptionally red. This is a very good concealer. And it is very inexpensive. Nice stuff. Okay, so Wet n Wild came out with a skin tint. And... Um, the person that said that um, they thought that that CoverGirl one that I've been using all the time, they said that that was too much coverage for them. I have a funny feeling that this is not going to have as much coverage, but we will see. Wet n Wild Bare Focus Niacinamide Skin Tint. 5% niacinamide, hyaluronic acid. I got 24-hour hydration, which you know I love that. This hybrid 5% niacinamide skin tint combines skin-loving benefits with makeup. Delivers natural, healthy-looking finish with a radiant glow. Lightweight, buildable coverage. Separation may occur. Shake well. Okay. I got the shade Fair. It's very light, but it's the only color that was even a possibility of working for me. Um, this is, I think I read, uh, by the way, in case you don't know, wet and wild products are not tested on animals. Um, okay, down at the bottom underneath fair, it says neutral. So this is, I can, I can get away with neutral. I can either go cool or neutral when I'm picking out shades. Sometimes neutral even works a little better for me. Sometimes when companies make cool tone products, they make, you know, it too cool tone. And this has a dropper. Okay. So. 
So let's start with that and see what we get for coverage here. Smell is nice. Okay, so that's with the skin tint and that's without. So these these kind of things are really nice in the summer. Like if you're going to the beach or you're going to be doing things outdoors and you just don't want like heavy makeup because you're going to be outside. There are certain situations in life where you just want your makeup to be lighter. This is nice, you guys. This is nice. It, I feel like it gives just enough coverage. Like, I wouldn't want any less than this. So between this and the concealer, it covers what you want covered. Yeah, this is nice, you guys. You know what? I don't even think I'm going to go in with uh, foundation over this. And I also want to see like what it does throughout the day and is it going to oxidize? Is it going to stay the same texture and everything? Oh, my skin feels really nice. Yeah, all these companies are coming out with skin tints. And I think the color match is fine, too. Okay. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. And it was only $7.49 for that. So this is probably the most affordable skin tint option at the drugstore that has skincare ingredients in it. Very nice, Wet n Wild. I love Wet n Wild. The last two um, special edition collections that I've gotten from them, the Scooby-Doo and the Halloween stuff, was all stellar, fantastic. Really great quality products for a more than reasonable price. Okay, so... Oh, do I have a, a Wet n Wild contour or bronzer? Hmm. Yes, I do. I have the Mega Glow Contour Palette in Dulce de Leche. All right, let's use my... Well, this is a putty brush, so yeah, I probably shouldn't use that. Let's use, um, let's use this. This is a Real Techniques contour brush, so that would be more appropriate. This is a warm contour. Probably too warm for my skin tone, but Sometimes I like to switch it up and, you know, do different things. So this is going to look better with um, some of the colors that I'm going to be using for the other products that I bought. So we're not just contouring. We're going to do what I normally do with my perimeter of my face thing. That I like to do. And the reason why I do that is bronzer doesn't really look very good on me because of my skin tone and the depth of my skin color. So I find that if I just do the perimeter of my face and then the, uh, you know, carve out the cheekbones, it looks a little better. 
All right, so that's my Wet n Wild contour. Next step is blush. Now I have two new items from Wet n Wild for blush. I have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Vitamin E Makeup Blush Stick in Dusty Pink. And even though this is one of their new releases, I've had this for like three months, but I don't remember where I got it. I don't remember if it was Target or CVS, but yeah, I've had this. So I've probably used this in a video before, so I'm not going to use that today, but I did want to mention that that's one of their new releases. These are brand, brand new. Wet n Wild Mega Glow Lip and Cheek Color, and I bought the shade Rosy Romance. So everybody's coming out with liquid blushes. Okay, um, let's see. Let's do, let's do one dot. I have no idea how pigmented this is. So I stippled it on like that and then blend it. Oh, that's a really good color for me. Really good color. And I like the amount of pigmentation here because it's not, you know, with the e.l.f. ones, it's so hard because they're so pigmented. You won't have to be as careful with this, but you still get plenty of color. And it's this is a beautiful color. I really like it. This is very complimentary for my skin color and skin tone. My computer's asking me questions. Don't interrupt me. I'm filming. <laughs> okay, so this has a very nice texture to it. Blends beautiful. That's a great color. Um, off the top of my head, I don't really remember how many other colors this comes in. You can go on the Walgreens website and see, though. That's, like I said, that's where I bought this. Okay, I don't have a new highlighter from them, so I'm going to use something I have in my collection. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette in Catwalk Pink. And that is what this looks like. So you get four different highlighters in here. Um, I think, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my finger across all four. And do it that way because I want to make sure I pick up some of the color because of the other products that we're going to be using. We don't want anything too light for our highlight. Try and color coordinate better. Okay, so this is very nice, and they usually have this at, you know, any place that stocks Wet n Wild usually has this, but it's a nice highlighter palette. Okay, I don't think I gave you the price on that, um, lip and cheek product, let's say. Um, uh, I got that at CVS, so, and this is my Walgreens receipt, that's why Okay, so if you're, you know, if you really want to buy it at CVS, you can go on the CVS website and get the price, but it's probably a lot, you know, at CVS. But it, I'm sure it's still under $10, though. All right, so what is next? What is next is eyeshadow. Now, for eyeshadow today, I have three new things from Wet n Wild, but they're not new, new, they're just new to my collection. Okay, so I'm going to show you those, what I got, and um, that's what we're going to use. So first, I want to do my brows. Do I have a Wet n Wild brow product? Let's see. 
Okay, I just went and dug out my CVS receipt. That lip and cheek color thing is $6.99 at CVS. So even at CVS, it's still very affordable. Okay, what I have for a brow product for Wet n Wild is the Ultimate Brow Kit in Ash Brown. You, I'm sure you've seen these. So this has got a clear wax and it's got two brow powders. So let's do the wax first. And obviously I'm going to use that lighter one. Wow, how close is that to what I normally use? This is what I normally use, Omega. Okay, so now it's it's darker. All right, hopefully it won't be too dark. Mm. It's a little warmer. This is supposed to be ash brown, but that's not very ashy, is it? It's kind of a warm color. This is not blending as well as my MAC eyeshadow does. It's a bit stiffer, but, um, all right. It's not too bad, though. Not too bad. Not my first choice for a brow product. Okay, so... When I placed my Amazon order recently, I picked up a couple more of their Wet n Wild's single eyeshadows. I got Envy, which is the green, and I got Mesmerized, which is the purple. But when I was at Walgreens yesterday, I got another one of these palettes. Remember the Always Naked palette that I got? I love that. I have reached for that multiple times and anytime I reach for anything multiple times it's saying something because usually I try to focus on like new 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 um so this is the other palette that they have with that this is the always blushing palette yeah these wet n wild palettes are terrific there's some marks on there because I was doing some swatches I was trying to get an idea of what I was going to do today so, okay, what direction do we want to go? I kind of want to go neutral, but then I'm looking at those mauve berry shades. Uh, I wish there was a way I could ask you, you know, which direction do you want me to go? You know what? A true test of a palette is to use the lighter colors. So let's let's stick to the top half and see what we can do here. This shade right here is just screaming contour to me. So let's take that on this fluffier brush. Wow. It, when I put my brush in there, it really kicked up a lot of powder, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's going to depend on how it performs. 
All right. That is applying and blending very nicely. So I'm just going to press my brush back in and pick up a little more because you know you if you do your eyeshadow a little bit at a time it's always going to come out the way you want oh I forgot the eyeshadow primer damn it well it obviously didn't need it because it's working really good over the concealer I really wanted to use the eyeshadow primer though but I guess it didn't need it um, I knew I was forgetting something. Okay, but yeah, that's that's working fine over the concealer. I wanted to put a little bit of the concealer just for the to conceal the redness in that area, and then use the eyeshadow primer to see what that would do with the eyeshadows. But yeah, it obviously doesn't need it. All right, we're only going to do one eye at a time. So on the lids. Hmm. What do we want to do? Actually, let's put some of that same crease shade. Let's put it on the outside of my lids. All right, now on my lids, oh, this is a tough choice. I think I think that shade right there is beautiful. Okay, let's grab a shader brush. I'm going to use an AOA Studio E131 brush. Mm, I don't know. I really like that other one too, though. I'm trying to decide between this one and this one. Oh, I don't know. You know what? I'm going to go with this one. They're both so pretty. Okay. These are really pigmented, so they didn't need the help of the eyeshadow primer. Good choice. Oh, that's beautiful. I can't believe how much I've been into neutrals, neutral colored eyeshadows lately. What I really have been enjoying doing is doing a neutral eye and then doing a pop of color with the eyeliner. But we're going to take it one step further today. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a colored eyeliner and a colored eyeshadow on the lower lash line. Oh, I really like this color. I'm glad I changed my mind at the last minute. That is really pretty. Oh, I'm loving these neutral eyeshadows. Okay, um, for highlighter, do we want to do matte or sparkle? Sparkle, of course. Okay, clean brush, go into the sparkly gold shade. Oh, gorgeous brow bone highlight. I like this palette just as much as the always naked one that I bought. Oh, got a little bit of fallout right there. No problem, it brushed aside easily. Wow. Yeah, I like this um, palette just as much as the Always Naked, so you can't go wrong with either one of these. So nice, Wet n' Wild. Great quality. Wow, is that sparkly. Beautiful, though. Now, I'm not applying more. I'm just trying to blend out what I already put down. There we go. That's a little bit less crazy. 
Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a detail type brush and we're going to go into the eyeshadow single Envy and pick some of that up. And we're going to go right along the lower lash line. And this is like a emerald green, I would say. So like a true green. And it has a little bit of shimmer in it. But it's not too crazy sparkly. Okay. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to take a Moira Supernova Multi-Chrome Gel Liner in number 3, Phoenix, and this is a light green. I really like light colored eyeliners on the waterline. They really make your eyes pop and can look so pretty. So we're just going to run that over my waterline. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Yeah, I love these these uh, Moira eyeliners. They are so nice. Yay. Okay. And hmm. I'm wondering if Maybe no, I I kind of like it the way it is. I was gonna go in with a, something else and just do something else, but then it might get messed up and I won't like it as much. So I'm gonna stick to what I've done so far. Wet and Wild eyelash curler. All right, now I bought a new mascara by Wet n Wild and I'm going to have to look now to check something. I just had to look up online if this was new or not because I really didn't know if it was new on the market or if it was just new to my collection. So I bought the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara and this is waterproof. So I'm going to be trying this for the first time. Nice and wet. I like that. And I like that wand. Don't generally like wands that are crazy big. And this is a nice slim one. Okay, so I guess this isn't new, but I've never tried it. I like it. I've been pretty happy with all the mascaras I've been trying lately. Yeah, this is nice. Very nice. And how much was this? This was only three twenty nine, so that's that's a good deal. And that eyeshadow palette, the blushing palette, was only eight ninety nine. And there's a lot of colors in there. Okay, let me um, shut the camera off and play catch up with the other eye, and then we'll come back and work on the lips. Okay, eyes are done, and the reason why I use that Moira eyeliner is I do not own any Wet n Wild eyeliners. Um, 
so yeah, I may have to pick up a one just to try because I don't know that I've ever tried their eyeliners. Not in the not in the last few years anyway, not recently. Okay, so I'm gonna use a Wet n Wild lip liner that I already have. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Liner and Brandy One. I've this has been around forever. Um, it's a beautiful brandy wine color, and um, I've talked about this many times. And I'm just lining my lips. Not filling them in. And I have a new line of lipsticks called Rich Satin. Um, satin lipsticks are a thing now with the makeup companies. And this is what it looks like. And these are um, where is it? There it is. Two twenty nine. Only two twenty nine for these. And I bought the shade Hush Little Beige. And this is what it looks like. I wanted to get a nude because I thought that would go best with this eyeshadow look. But they did have obviously other colors to pick from. And I'm wondering if I'm wondering if these satin lipsticks are going to replace their silk finish lipsticks. Mm. So if there's any colors in the silk finish line that you are really attached to, you might want to grab those because yeah, I have a funny feeling because these are two ninety nine. The silk finish ones are what ninety nine cents or something along those lines. So yeah, they might be just trying to make their lipstick line, um, you know, a little bit more profitable. That's nice. Feels great. Applied beautiful. I like the color. That's a win. Now, this is also a lip product, but I only have one pair of lips, so couldn't try those both out today. But I'll try that also. And I also picked up another lip product while I was there. This is not new, but it is new to my collection. And it looks like, um, well, let me tell you what it is first. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Lip Gloss. I think this has been repackaged and I don't know reformulated, but I think I tried a Wet n Wild Mega Slicks lip gloss a long time ago but it didn't look anything like this. But this is a cool tone pink, the one that I picked up, because I've been really into that lately too. This is called Low Key Pink, and I just thought this would make a good addition to my lip gloss collection, but I'll try this in a future video too, so you can see what that looks like. And also the Mesmerized eyeshadow. I will include that in a future video as well. Now I do not have a setting spray from Wet n Wild so I'm going to use my Milani setting spray. So I like everything that I tried you guys. There's no duds that I can tell. Everything performed really well. The the colors, the the formulas, the prices, it's all a win. And it's all at Walgreens right now. Some of these products are popping up also at CVS, but I think if you want the full range, Walgreens are the only ones that have everything right now. Other stores are getting like bits and pieces. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with everything that I tried. 
So thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And if you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.